Hello and welcome back to the Master Civil Engineering. In this video, you will learn that how to draw the influence lines for a beam using the muller Bruce principle. These are also called the qualitative influence lines. Okay, I have been given a question which says that we have to draw the influence line for this beam for the vertical reaction at B, shear just to the right of the rocker joint at A, the moment at C, and we have to solve this problem using the muller Bruce principle. Okay, this is an overhanging beam of total span 18 meters okay there's a rocker joint at a and pin joint at b okay so to draw the uh, uh, influence line first for the vertical reaction at b according to the muller Bruce principle for determining the influence line for reaction at b we have to replace this pin at b by a roller guide and then we have to apply the positive upward force the beam will deflect to the red line which is shown in this deflected shape which represents the general shape uh, of the influence line for reaction at b okay so you can see the pin at b this is replaced by a roller guide okay and then we are applying the force equal to the magnitude of the vertical reaction at b and the beam will deflect to this red line which gives us the general shape of the influence line for the reaction at b okay uh, after that to find the ordinates of this influence line we have to place the unit load at that position of the beam where we have to find the ordinate of the influence line and then we have to calculate the function okay so this is the beam and this is the a deflected shape of the beam okay uh, when we uh, replace this pin at b by the roller guide and apply the uh, positive uh, vertical reaction at b okay now we have to find the ordinates of this influence line we have to find the ordinate at zero okay ordinate at this uh, 12 and ordinate at this 18 meter okay so how to find the ordinates we will just uh, place the unit load at that position okay and then find the value of the function okay for example when uh, we have to find the ordinate at d we will place the unit load at d okay and then we will find the value of the vertical reaction at b okay so when the unit load is placed at d we will uh, take unit load is placed at d we will take the summation of the moment about a equal to zero to find the value of vertical reaction at b okay so it will be uh, minus one into six taking uh, clockwise moments as positive and anti-clockwise as negative moment due to one uh, one unit force about a will be minus one into six and moment of this vertical reaction at b about a will be uh, minus b y into 12 both movements are anti-clockwise okay this gives me the value of by equal to minus 0 0.5 it means this ordinate here this is minus 0 0.5 okay after that we have to find the ordinate at c or 12 meters so we will uh, place the unit load at c again we will find the value of vertical reaction at b so when the unit load is placed at c again we will take the summation of moment about a equals zero so move, uh, unit load is at c moment of unit load about a this will be one into six and this will be a clockwise moment and moment of vertical reaction at b about a this will be b y into 12 and this will be an anti-clockwise moment so, okay we are taking clockwise as positive and anti-clockwise as negative so this will give me the value of b y equals 0.5 it means the ordinate at 12 meters when the unit load is at uh, c uh, this is 0.5 okay after that we have to find the ordinate uh, when the unit load is at b okay so when the unit load is at b again we will taking uh, summation of moments about a equals zero so moment of one unit force about a this will be one into 12 and uh, moment of by about a this will be uh, by into 12 okay you, moment due to unit load this will be clockwise and moment due to by this will be anti-clockwise we are assuming the by in the upwards direction okay so this will give me the value of by equal to one okay it means the magnitude of the ordinate of the influence line of by when the unit load is at b is one okay so this gives the 
influence line diagram for the vertical reaction at B. Okay. After finding uh, the influence line for vertical reaction at B, now we will find the influence line for shear just at the right of the A. Okay. So according to the muller breslow principle, influence line for uh, shear. Okay. Uh, this is uh, we have to uh, place the roller guide at A. Okay. And then we have to apply the positive shear. The beam will deflect to the red line, which represents the general shape of the influence line for shear to the right of the A. Okay. So to find the shear just to the right of A, we will replace this by a roller guide. And then we will apply the positive shear. The beam will deflect to this red line, which gives us the general shape of the influence line for shear just to the right of the A. Okay. When you will apply the vertical shear on this part okay this portion will get up and this uh, portion will get down and this portion will again get up and this portion will get down okay uh, ordinate here will be zero because it's pinned at a okay we have to find ordinate at this d and ordinate at a okay to find the ordinates again we will place the unit load at the position where we have to find the ordinate and then we'll calculate the value of the function okay so uh, this is the shape of the influence line for shear just to the right of the a okay we have to find first the ordinate at zero meter or at d so we will place the unit load at d and this time we'll take the movement about b equal to zero okay so when the unit load is at d taking the movements about b equals 0 unit load is at d movement of unit load about b this will be 1 into 18 and this will be an anti-clockwise movement so it is negative and movement of a y assuming it in the upwards direction about b will be a y into 12 and this will be a clockwise movement okay this gives me the value of a y equal to 1.5 okay so shear just to the right of the a this will be equal to a y minus one okay if i cut a section just to the right of the a only forces acting on this portion d a there will be unit load at d and uh, vertical reaction in the upwards direction so uh, shear just to the right of a will be 1.5 which is the value of vertical reaction at a minus one which is equal to 0 0.5 it means the ordinate uh, of the shear just to the right of a when the unit load is at d is 0 0.5 okay after that we have to find the next ordinate at 6 meter or when the unit load is at a so when the unit load is at a again taking the summation of movement about b equals 0 movement of unit load about b this will be 1 into 12 this will be an anti-clockwise movement and movement of vertical reaction about b assuming the vertical reaction in the upward direction will be a clockwise and it will be a y into 12 this gives me the value of a y equal to 1 okay if I cut the section just to the right of the A, only force which will be acting on the section, it will be AY. So, shear just to the right of AY, uh, shear just to the right of A will be the value of vertical reaction at A, which is 1. Okay, so ordinate when the unit load is at A uh, for the shear just to the right of A is 1. Okay, after that you will find the ordinate at 12 meter. Again, you will place the unit load at C. Okay, and then you will calculate the value of vertical reaction at AY by taking the summation of movement about B equals zero. So movement of unit load about B when the unit load is at C will be one into six and this will be an anti-clockwise movement. So I'm taking it as negative and movement of AY about B, this will be a clockwise movement and its magnitude will be AY in 12. This gives me the value of AY equals 0 0.5. Shear just to the right of A, if I cut a section at just to the right of the a only uh, force which will be acting on this section da will be the value of vertical reaction at a and its magnitude is 0 0.5 it means uh, the shear just to the right of a is 0 0.5 so this ordinate here will be 0 0.5 okay this is the influence line diagram for the shear just to the right of the a okay after finding the influence line for shear now it's time to find the influence line for the movement at c okay according to the miller breslow principle to find the influence line for movement you have to place the internal hinge at that point and then apply the positive movement the beam will deflect to 
द रेड लाइन विच रिप्लेजेंट द जनरल शेप फॉर मूवमेंट एट सी ओके सो इफ आई हैव टू फाइंड द मूवमेंट एट सी आई विल प्लेस ए इंटरनल हिंज एट सी एंड देन आई विल अप्लाई द पॉजिटिव मूवमेंट्स ओके दिस बीम विल गेट्स डिफ्लेक्टेड टू दिस रेड लाइन ओके दिस पोर्शन एंड दिस पोर्शन विल गेट रिमेन फिक्सड ओके this will get up this will get up and this portion will get down so this is the general uh, shape for the influence line for movement at c again to find the ordinates for the influence line you have to place the unit load at that position and then you have you have to calculate the value of the function okay that is the value of the movement at c so this is the influence line diagram uh, for the movement at c now we have to find the ordinate at 0 meter and 12 meter because ordinate at 6 and 18 these are zero so first we will place the unit load at d then we will uh, take the summation of movement about mb equal 0 okay when the unit load is at d uh, movement of unit load about b this will be 1 into 18 and this will be an anti clockwise movement and movement of ay about b assuming ay in the upward direction this will be ay into 12 and this will be a clockwise movement this will give me the value of ay equal to 1.5 movement at c this will be simply ay uh, into 6 minus 1 into uh, 12 okay so movement at c this is given as ay into 6 uh, unit load is at d so ay into 6 minus 1 into 12 okay distance between unit load at c is 12 and distance between a y and c is 6 okay so movement is 1.5 into 6 minus 1 into 12 which is minus 3 this will be the ordinate of the influence line for movement at c when the unit load is at d okay after that you have to find the ordinate for the influence line when the unit load is at c or 12 meters so when the unit load is at c again taking the summation of movement about b equal 0 and calculating the value of ay okay when the unit load is at c the movement of unit load about b this will be 1 into 6 and this will be an anti clockwise movement and movement of ay about b this will be ay into 12 and this will be a clockwise movement because we are assuming the ay in the upwards direction okay so value of ay this will be equal 0.5 movement uh, at c will be simply because only force acting on uh, uh, this uh, our, uh, only force which is acting uh, on the left of the c is ay so movement at c will be ay into 6 this is 0.5 into 6 which is 3 it means the ordinate of the influence line when the unit load is at 12 or uh, at c is 3 okay this is the uh, this is the diagram for the influence line for movement at c when the unit load is placed along the length of the beam okay so this is how you can draw the influence line using the muller bruce loop principle or the qualitative influence lines okay okay you just uh, uh, first have to uh, use the muller bruce loop principle to find the general deflected shape of the beam and then you have to place the unit load at different positions of the beam and calculate the value of the function okay i hope this solution video was clear and effective and you definitely learned something new if you still have doubts you can write them in the comment box i will be happy to answer this thanks for watching masters will engineering and stay tuned